guys, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Okay, today is just going to be something very simple for you guys. Um, if you look back up at some of my previous videos, I showed you how to make a meatloaf. And I also showed you this really cool device called Easy Kebab, okay? And again, that's also in a separate video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that meatloaf and I'm going to try to make it into kebab. So that way there's bite-sized meatloaf pieces. Give it a little bit more smoky flavor when I'm grilling it. And we'll see. Sit back, relax, enjoy as I try to make the meatloaf kebabs. Okay, so what are you going to need to make the meatloaf, okay? Or the meatloaf kebab. We're going to go ahead and have one egg. We're going to go ahead and crack that. We're going to scramble that up. I've got one pound of packaged hamburger meat. Uh, it can be 80, 20, 70, 30, whatever you like because you can always adjust it later. We're also going to go with one box of stuffing. It can be a stovetop stuffing or your store brand stuffing. And then we're going to go ahead and adjust the consistency by adding a little bit of barbecue sauce. Now, I also have in the fridge some cooked bacon that I'm going to add some crumbled bacon in right here. Kind of give it a little bit of a kick. All right, here we go. Now, the meat is pretty much all mixed up here, okay? Um, I went ahead and added the barbecue sauce. I actually like this Kinder's barbecue sauce. I thought it was really, really good. So I'm favoring the Kinder's and I still like the Baby Ray's. All right, so right now I'm going to go ahead and go to the fridge because I mentioned earlier, I've got some cooked bacon over here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that cooked bacon to it. And we're going to use some scissors. We're just going to go ahead and dice it up. If you want to cut it up on the keyboard, on a, the cutting board, go right ahead. You just want to kind of dice it up because you want to have the bacon there. And mainly because you want it to be something that's kind of hidden and goes, hmm, wow. If you guys remember, if you're from Orange County, there's a place called Slater's 5050. Um, I don't know if they're still around or not, but they like to add bacon in the burgers. And that's actually what attracted people to them was the bacon, bacon burgers. Okay. And I, I don't remember exactly what the consistency was, but they did a lot of really good burgers there. All right, we're just going to keep chopping this up here. I might actually take it to my cutting board because I don't like how thick some of those are. So let me go ahead and chop this bacon up. We'll be right back. Next step will be to start loading the kebab. So one of the things I did is I took a little bit of avocado spray and I lubricated the cylinders, both sides, so that way there, when I put the meat inside of it, it's going to slide out pretty easy. Now remember, we just start stuffing the... The little holder right here, the kebab, easy kebab, with a little bit of ground beef that's been mixed with some bacon and some stuffing. Uh, if you want, you can add some extra salt, pepper. Uh, you can also add some garlic. You can add whatever seasonings you would normally add to your meatloaf. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep stuffing this up a little bit. Well, you know, like, like so. Now, this is the part that's kind of cool. You're going to put this thing right here like this. Okay, you're going to take your kebab and just stick it in a little bit and you're going to push down. And as you're pushing down, eventually it'll grab the meat and it'll start coming out. And there we go. And it's, you got to push down hard, you know. You're going to put some effort in it. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it right about there. There we go. There's your kebab. Now, if you want to find your stick, it's right there. So then you kind of pinch it a little bit here. And there is your meatloaf kebab. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing the rest of these. And I'll bring you back when I'm done. All righty. Well, here you go. These are the kebabs. The last one is a little bit different. And the reason being is when you're done loading the kebab maker, it doesn't discharge all of the meat so at that point that's when you got to pull it out and you form the last one by hand again no big deal what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna set these in my fridge for about 20 30 minutes because i want them to firm up a little bit before i throw them on the grill 
Okay guys, so it's been you know, a little bit longer than 30 minutes um, that I had those beef kebabs in the fridge. But I'm going to go ahead and pull those babies out right now. There they are, nice and pretty. Show that to the camera. And yeah, see they're really firm. See, I'm pushing on it and you see that it holds its shape. That's exactly what I want before I throw those on the grill. Now it's time to get those babies nice, hot, and cooked, and time to enjoy. Well, in the meantime, my grill is warming up. I've got the, the uh, charcoal pellets rolling with it, and I'm also using the Smoke Daddy Sear Station. It's absolutely amazing. Well, there you go, guys. That is the meatloaf kebab, okay? Simple, easy, amazing. As I mentioned earlier, great appetizer, great for parties. Serve it with a little bit of barbecue sauce. The kids are going to get blown away, but your guests are going to go, hmm, that's absolutely amazing. Now, go back and get that kebab uh, maker somewhere around here. Oh, right, there you go. Remember, the easy kebab I uh, got on Amazon. It wasn't that expensive, simple to use. You know, you can use this thing for just about anything, all kinds of little treats. Kick it up, make it eating and cooking fun for the family. Well, there you go. Crazy Dave, and I'm out.